Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from a Stanford Mass Tournament from 2021. In this problem, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 31. On the other hand, we know that x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 154. Considering these two equations, we are looking for to find the max value that we can have for x plus y. We know x and y are real numbers here. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. Before talking about the solution, let's review the problem again. Here we have max of x plus y. Does it mean that we need to find some inequality and see where the condition is the maximum value? Here we are not going to do that. We are going to instead find the value that we need to have for x plus y and see from all possible values, which one is the max value? Let's start with that. Since the problem asks for x plus y, we are going to use a for x plus y and b for x y. Now we are going to write a squared and a cube here. a squared is going to be x squared plus y squared plus two times x y. On the other hand, a cube is going to be x cube plus y cube plus three times x squared y plus three times x y squared. Now we have a squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus two times x y. We are going to write it as 31 plus two times b. On the other hand, for a cube, we are going to write it as 154 plus 3 times xy times x plus y. And then for x plus y, we are going to use a and for xy, we are going to use b. So at the end, we have a cube is equal to 154 plus 3 times ab. Now we have a squared is equal to 31 plus 2b. a cube is equal to 154 plus 3 times ab. Let's use b from the first equation in the second equation. So we will have a cube is equal to 154 plus 3 times a times a squared minus 31 over 2. And if we simplify it, we are going to end up with a cube is equal to 154 plus 3 times a cube over 2 minus 93 over 2 times a. If we simplify it a little bit further, we will have a cube minus 93a plus 308 is equal to 0. Now we are going to use rational root theorem to find the roots of this cube polynomial. First of all, note that all coefficients that we have here are integer coefficients. Second, we are going to find roots in the form of p over q, where p and q are relatively prime. And q is an integer factor of the leading coefficient a n. Here, a n is equal to 1, so q is going to be 1 here. P needs to be an integer factor of the constant term that we have. The constant term that we have here is 308. So we are looking for to find an integer factor of this 308 as you can see in a few minutes. 308 can be written as 4 times 7 times 11. We have x is going to be in the form of p over q, q is equal to 1, and p is going to be a divisor for 300 and 
8. We are going to start with a is equal to 4 as the root of this equation. If you try 4, you will verify that 4 is actually a root of this polynomial. The other polynomial that we can try is 7 and you can verify that is the case here too. On the other hand, the last polynomial that we are going to have is negative 11. And you can also verify that by using negative 11 here. So at the end, we have a minus 4 times a minus 7 times a plus 11 is going to be 0. So the roots that we have are going to be 4, 7, and negative 11. The question asks us to find the maximum value that we can have for x plus y. And remember we used a for x plus y. The max value that we found is 7 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and mass involved activities, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel.